and Kim Kardashian are showing off their newly confirmed romance in public now as a lucky fan just snapped a pic with the couple last weekend while they were having a romantic breakfast date. Let's get into it. As you may recall, the internet pretty much lost it after a source spilled the bombshell news of Kim and Pete's official relationship to Page Six earlier this month. After weeks of speculation following their flirty SNL skit, the insider finally confirmed that Pete and Kim are in fact together as they were seen celebrating Pete's 28th birthday on November 17th. In the now viral Instagram post shared by Flavor Flav, who was in attendance at the celebration, Pete, Kim, and her mom Kris Jenner were seen celebrating at Kris's home in Palm Springs, where everyone was seen kicking back in some matching skims. And yeah, celebrating his B-Day with Kim family doesn't seem just platonic to us. Their relationship was confirmed by a source soon after who told E! News that Kim and Pete are official and that they are really happy and seeing where it goes. And since then, Kim and Pete certainly haven't been shy about packing on the PDA. One fan got the surprise of his life when he spotted Kim and Pete enjoying breakfast at the Beverly Hills Hotel on Saturday, November 27th. Paul Bierweg, a Dutch tourist, noticed Pete dining at the restaurant before realizing that he was, in fact, with Kim. Paul revealed to people, I asked her for a photo, she said, okay, sure. And I asked Pete to take the photo, so he did. We took two photos. Um, imagine asking Pete Davidson to take photos of you. Paul took to Instagram to show off his excitement, posting two pics of him posing alongside both Pete and Kim with the caption, OMG, make me crazy sitting next to Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson for breakfast. Okay, we are living for this man's energy. Later, Paul opened up to Page Six about his celeb run-in, saying that Kim and Pete's breakfast outing seemed like a true date before going on to add that it looked like the pair were definitely more than friends. Paul went on to say that there was no kissing, but they were very close with each other. And if the whole encounter wasn't crazy enough as is, Paul ironically visited the Skims ex Fendi pop up just moments before running into Kim. It seems like Pete and Kim were so chill about the entire interaction with Paul, with the couple apparently being comfortable enough with their very public relationship to take some pics with fans. But while some fans might be swooning over Kim and Pete's surprise romance, let's just say others uh, might not be fans of this couple. You see, Alex Cooper, host of the Call Her Daddy podcast, slammed Kim in a recent episode of her show for using Pete in order to get clout and distract people from the Astroworld tragedy. Actually, another theory that people have on the internet is people think that Kris Jenner was like Kim and slap that fat ass, get out there. We need a distraction from Astroworld. I mean, we all remember how crazy it was on TikTok that Astroworld was everywhere and it was so disgusting and so awful and I don't even feel comfortable talking about that because of the families and everything of actually what happened. But like you look at TikTok now and it's just Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson fake holding hands for 0.2 seconds for a photo. And no one's talking about Astroworld anymore. Okay, now those are some heavy accusations. Obviously, nobody can confirm nor deny the rumors behind Alex's comments, but she's certainly not the first person to accuse Pete and Kim's relationship as being a massive PR stunt, as many fans have speculated that since the early days of their romance. News of their relationship came just weeks after the devastating events that took place at Travis Scott's Astroworld Festival, where the rapper is now facing a series of lawsuits for his role in the tragedy. And yeah, while Kim, Kendall, and Kylie have all issued statements about Astroworld, it's certainly given Travis a bad look. Since this is such a delicate situation, it wouldn't come as a complete surprise if the Carjenner's publicity team are scrambling to fix the family's image, namely with Pete. But who knows, Pete and Kim could just be genuinely head over heels for each other. Either way, it seems like it's full steam ahead for this couple as they're obviously spending a lot of time in each other's company and are apparently enjoying it. For now, we will be eagerly awaiting any future updates on Kim and Pete's whirlwind romance and we'll be keeping a close eye on each of their socials for their next sneaky, not so sneaky breakfast date together. Now go ahead and click right over here for the full rundown on Pete's massive hickey, then up to the comments and let me know all your thoughts on this new couple. As always, I'm your host, Renee Ariel. You can follow me on socials at Renee Ariel, and I'll see you next time.